Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to conditionally format an entire row based on a particular column. Here we are highlighting all the rows which have sales more than 5000. So let's say I change the serial number 6 which is Bluetooth speaker now to $6000. The row is completely highlighted. Let's see how to do this. Here is the monthly sales for an establishment. We have the product, the quantity sold, and total sales. Let's say we want to highlight all the sales greater than 5000. If you just want to do it on a single column, it's very simple. All we need to do is select a column. And then under the home ribbon, you'll have conditional formatting. And you can just go to the first option, which is highlight cell rules greater than. All you need to do is enter the amount. Let's keep it as 5000 and say OK. There, we have all the sales which are greater than 5000 highlighted. So if you now change the row number 5, which is a smartwatch, to 5500. It gets highlighted. What if you want to highlight the complete row? To do that, we will need to use a formula in conditional formatting. So let me just undo. So let's select the complete data. Here it is from cell B5 to cell E14. Let's go to conditional formatting and now we can choose new rule. And I'm going to go in the style as classic. And now in this option, we will select use a formula to determine which cells to format. Note that we selected from cell B1 to cell E5. And now we want to make a decision only based on column E. So in our formula cell, we need to enter the formula as equal to, let's say if I put E5 greater than 5000. Let's see what happens. Since we've chosen E5 greater than 5000 and we say OK, only the column B is highlighted because for column B, it is going to check if E column is greater than 5000. And for column C, it's now going to check if column F is greater than 5000. Similarly, for D and E, it's going to see column G and H. Since we have no data here, only for column B, the serial numbers are highlighted as the column E values are greater than 5000. So we'll need to tweak our formula a little bit. So let's again go to conditional formatting and go to manage rules now. We can select the rule we have and we can edit this rule. As our complete array is from B5 to E14, in our formula, we need to fix the column which is why we need to now put a dollar symbol before E. Note that I'm fixing only the E column and not the row because we want the column E of each row to determine if the row needs to be colored. Now, since we fixed the column E, let's see if we say OK and say OK. There, the complete row is highlighted as all the columns B, C, D, and E are based on the fixed column E. Let's say I go to the serial number 7, which is gaming console, and change it to 16,000. That row gets highlighted completely. Conditional formatting a complete row based on a single cell can be very helpful visualization too. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.